me, huh? Answer me! Hello, welcome back to another episode. Watch out, spoilers ahead. The Peripheral, a science fiction series airing on Amazon Prime Video, is starting to take shape as the sinister plot of the Research Institute becomes more apparent. In the first two episodes of The Peripheral, the mysterious Research Institute was established as the primary antagonistic organization. It has been established that the R.I. is operating covertly out of London in the year 2000s, working on stubs or timelines that have split off into alternate realities due to interference from the future. The first two episodes of The Peripheral established the R.I.'s fascination with the past, but they gave no indication as to why. Episode 3 of The Peripheral focuses heavily on Tinia Miller's villainous Dr. Cherries, and the motivations behind her company's temporal interference are revealed. Jackpot, an event described by Cherise, took place between 2032 and the future depicted in the peripheral. The Research Institute looks into the past to make sure there aren't any more incidents like the jackpot. In Haptic Drift, Cherise tells the doomed Grace over a cup of tainted tea that the Research Institute's stub work is done to compile data that reduces the likelihood of another apocalypse. A hidden malevolence of the Research Institute's scheme. Cherise, played by Tinia Miller, describes the Research Institute as heroes. In order to prevent another extinction-level event in 2000s and beyond, they are researching the past. To put it another way, how could there be anything wrong with that? Does R.I. from the peripheral represent true evil? However, this is conditional on the specifics of how the data Cherise mentions is being collected, something the shady boss is being intentionally cagey about. In the second episode of The Peripheral, Wolf explains stub timelines to Chloe Grace Mortz's Flynn Fisher. Anytime the future messes with the past, a little bit of the old universe gets snipped off and becomes its own little universe. As a result, it's unlikely that the Research Institute is merely passively observing the past through the study of stubs. These are I. Stubs are physical evidence of a time traveler's interference with the present. Particularly ominous is the possibility that Dr. Cherise's Research Institute uses stub timelines like simulation playing around with different inputs to test hypotheses and outcomes. This would essentially mean that the R.I. is putting the lives of everyone in the past and future at risk in order to preserve their own. The plot of the peripheral is established by the Research Institute. The periphery's stub timelines will likely suffer in some way under the Research Institute's plan, which could be unpleasant. Since Elita rebranded the company as radically immoral, Cherise's motives can't be pure, even if she isn't using the past timelines as test simulations. A larger narrative for the peripheral becomes clear. The future of Flynn Fisher's world is in jeopardy if the R.I. has access to stub timelines. Even though the first few episodes of the peripheral may focus on the Fishers and their friends fighting off R.I. assassins and local drug lords, Flynn and Burton may end up having to defend their whole timeline. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.